Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike, and welcome to the new update for recording on a Mac in HD. So let's get started. Now, you're going to need a few things. The title says Minecraft, so that's a game we're going to be doing today, but you can do this for any game or use this software for anything you want to do. So first thing you want to do is get the programs you need. You're going to need ScreenFlow 4 by Telestream. So telestream.net, then go to Products and click ScreenFlow. What you can do then is you can then go to either use a free trial or you can buy it for $100 or $90 if you get it from JourneyEd. Then once you have that, you're going to need Minecraft. So you can make an account and buy it. Then after that, you can just install them and you are set. You don't need these anymore. So I'm going to get these off the screen. So then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Minecraft. And my suggestion is to turn hiding on and maximize the screen. That is just my preference because then you can condense the video down to whatever size you need or you can rescale it to whatever you need before you start recording. Now, once you have this set up, you then want to go into ScreenFlow, open it up, and a little dialog will appear right about here. It's not showing up for me because I'm currently recording, but it is the configure recording option. It allows you to pick which monitor to record, if you want to use a webcam, which microphone, and whether or not you want to use computer audio, audio so you can record the game or record a video that you're watching. I do that because it's Minecraft. Next thing you want to do is then you just want to go into your game. So let's quickly just jump into this random world. And so what I like to do is I like to get to a spot and usually look at myself and turn all these buttons off with the F1 and F5 key and then pause the game and start my recording. The way I start is by doing Command Shift 2 which is the normal preset right here. And then you can go into screen for preferences and set a pause, which will be, for me, is control shift P. That allows me to, if I'm in the middle of recording, let's say I'm playing right now, doing a commentary, and I need to go to the bathroom or I need to go and do something else, I can quickly pause the game, pause my recording, do whatever I need to do, come back, unpause, and keep playing, and then edit that little pause out later on in the video. It's all great. Now, let's say I finish, and I can just end the recording with Command Shift 2. I'm not going to do that, because it'll end this commentary. So I'm just going to quickly quit out of Minecraft. And you will get a window that looks like this. A uh, new empty document. Let's make it... I usually do 720. You can also do 1080 or screen dimensions. But let's just do 720. Yeah, something like this will pop up, except it'll have your gameplay video and your microphone audio on the bottom. No, microphone audio on top, video and video audio will be on the bottom. So the microphone and the game audio and video are two completely separate things. Then let's, Im let's import a clip. You can either do, in ScreenFlow 3 you could double click, it's not working for me, but you can do, either do an ad recording, so you can record a separate thing, or you can do an ad media, which is what you can do to grab something random. So let's grab, um, Let's grab, no, let's grab this, let's grab my intro, can't drag anymore, let's drag my intro, and let's drag my outro. So I'm going to drop these two in, and this one, right at the end of it. This is going to be basic, there's gonna, not going to be any commentary on top of it. So as you can see here, with this button, you can crop the dimensions down to whatever you want. When you finish a recording, it will be set to your screen dimensions. If you want 720, make sure you click this or you can do it afterwards, but it's a lot better to do it before you export. So I like to set mine to 720 by 1280 by 720, and click Apply, and it sets everything down to that. Now normally, my um, screen, my video screen will appear like about this much bigger than everything else. So I, what I do is I just resize it down, and then I just skip to here. And what happens is you all, most of the time you'll have this gray bar in the top of the screen. So what you can just do is you can just resize the size, which is definitely because Minecraft is full screen, or if you do full screen. Then you can just drag this, um, take snapping off because it's a big pain. Scroll down. Scroll this down a little bit so you don't get the bottom of your screen completely, so you can cut certain things off. Then pull this up a little bit so you can get rid of those bars. And you should be set with the video itself. Then you can just rescale anything you want to whatever you want. Now you can see here, you can see the audio itself, and that is looking pretty loud. So I want to go into the audio settings and just duck it down 50% because this 
specific clip is really loud. And then this is like that. So if I press play, we'll get something like this. And then my outro. And then, but if you, let's say you want to make the screen bigger so you can do more stuff with it. Just zoom in with the scroll, or you can just go view, zoom in, zoom out, or zoom to fit. And then, let's say I wanted to do, let's go for a quick couple things. So, I can have the option of zooming this in a bit, and then overlaying this, and then doing this transition. All these different transitions, I usually like to do dip to black. So it does this, it fades out, and the other one fades in at the end of a video, but we're not gonna deal with that. So what we're gonna do is just zoom this out a bit again. Go to your video qualities, you can scale a video, you can crop it, you can add color controls, you can do video editors, you can do all of your stuff. Anything you want, you can do it. Now I'm just gonna skip ahead to the exporting settings, okay? So keep in mind, ScreenFlow is a very, very CPU intensive program. When you're exporting, it uses like 600% of my CPU's cores. Don't ask me how that works, it just does. Um, you can go with all these settings, allow mouse clicks to appear, which is what a lot of people do. Zooming up, borders, outlines, video effects, which allow you to do zooms and fades. Um, audio effects, which allows you to do the audio fades and stuff like that. Text and annotations and properties, but you can't hyperlink annotations in this, so I'd save that for YouTube itself. So let's say you've all done all this. So we're done. I've edited it to my preferences. I'm going to click, oh, I usually save it first. I'm not gonna save it right now. Command E is the default thing for exporting. So let's rename this as tutorial. And then I'm gonna export it to my desktop. Now that you have several options and presets, you have web high, web low, lossless, 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 and all these other ones. I made my own two, which are called 720p and 1080p and audio if I just wanna mess around with audio in a different program. Now I'm gonna select 720p because that's what my actual size is right now and if I show you what it is it's customized it's H.264 video at 30 frames per second 6,000 kilobytes because YouTube recommends for a 720p video 5,000 kilobyte data rate so I just bumped mine up by six by thousand just to help profile main AAC audio this is YouTube's preferred one and so I use that click OK and now I can add motion blur for transitions and stuff like that to make it look better. You can scale it to whatever size, like I said earlier, but it's better to do it inside the actual video. I just click scale to 100%, so it keeps it at that. Now, there, for people who are used to ScreenFlow 3, there is an option to get that user interface back than what I just showed you. So if you go under the Web High program, so if I go into Web High and customize this, no, it's not you, it's lossless. And customize this. You get this this little uh, dialog box. This is a little more controlling, but it's gonna have a huge file when you record the actual the actual video because it's rendering, it's, everything is raw data. You're not gonna get anything compressed or little artifacts. It's the pure video that you watch. It's not always the best option to do because it will make your game lag a little bit more because it's trying to gather all this data and sometimes some people's computers can't handle that. So under video, you can select what kind. This is uh, H.264, or you can go with animation, which is QuickTime, and all these other kinds. So if I go under H.264, I can give it a current frame rate, frame rate, frame rate, keyframes automatic, quality, best, better quality for a multi-pass or single pass encoding, which means after it finishes encoding it the first time, it can go back and do it a couple more times. But this is just a little weird and confusing for some people and who don't know how to use video stuff and are just trying to record a video. So I don't use this setting. I just use my 720p and the 1080p one is for 10,000 kilobytes per second because YouTube recommends, I think, 8,000 or 10,000, one of those two. Same audio, it's all good. So uh, then you can export it. And I'll export this quickly because it'll take two seconds for me. And then... Uh, you can see the exporting menu bar right here. It does give you a time, so I have a little under a minute. So I will pause my video and be back with you guys when it finishes. So my video has just finished exporting, so now what I can do is I can just quit ScreenFlow. And I'm not going to save it because I don't need the file anymore. But what used to happen was you'd have to use Handbrake because you'd have to ex export this as dot .move, which is an Apple thing, and then encode it to MP4 or H.264 files because that's what YouTube prefers. 
you don't have to do that anymore because it exported it directly as an H.264. So then you can just go onto YouTube, drag this back over, just go onto YouTube, and click upload, and just upload your file. Just drag this right here if it's on your desktop, or you can go look for it. Give it whatever you want. Add a title, film and entertainment, just for the heck of it. And you should be set. This will be a 720p video at the optimal data rate. So I'm just going to cancel this so it doesn't start doing stuff. You'll get this little audio sync issue. It's no big deal. It happens on everybody's videos. As far as I'm concerned, it happens on all of mine, but they all come out perfectly OK. So just that's really all you guys need to know for this. That's the new update. It's the exporting is the only thing that's really different about it. And that hope you guys enjoyed this update. Um, if there's another big one, I will make sure to do another video. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped you all. And uh, links will be in the description for everything I've talked about. The ScreenFlow, Minecraft, JourneyEd, and any other things I, you might want to use. So links will be in the description. Guys, this is Mike signing off.